Okay, so last week I was making a knife. It turned out rather well. I still have to make a sheath for it. And I was planning out how to make the sheath. And since I've got red liners on the knife and everything, I decided I wanted to do um, a different dye technique that I could put some red into the sheath. Uh, and what I thought about doing is block dyeing. And I figured it was a good opportunity to make a video about what block dyeing is. So block dyeing just gets on the very surface of leather. It doesn't flood the dye in. Um, but it can create an interesting effect and it's called block dyeing because it's usually done with a block of wood wrapped in a piece of cloth. We'll just bundle that up and make sure it's flat. I'm going to toss a clip on it just to hold it in place. So now we've got a block. And it's just wrapped in cotton cloth, a thin, this is actually scraps of a bed sheet. T-shirts work, a lot of different things work. Uh, the trick is you don't want a lot of dye. You want it to soak in to this and not onto the leather that you're working on. And you can even take and blot a little bit off on a scrap. But we're going to start with... basket weave pattern. Yeah, I'll need a little bit more. And I'm using a really dark brown dye, dark reddish brown, that's called uh, Cordovan, made by Phoenix. Uh, there's a lot of different colors to get called Cordovan. Everywhere from a reddish color to, like I said, this is almost so dark it's almost black. And so you can kind of see the effect that it does. I've got a couple little spots that I've had some texture that shows up a little bit more. But it pretty much it doesn't color the background. It just colors the part of the leather that's still flat. And I wanted to do the same thing, only with a pattern that I've already dyed red. So this is just regular flood the dye on with a dauber, make it all red. And then we're going to do the same block dyeing technique. And what I'm expecting is that I'll still get some of it in the center here where I've got this large area. And I'll get it on all of this. But it should still show up with a lot of the red as well. This is one of those things that you can kind of keep doing it and see. You can just add what you want to it. And so anyway, it's another coloring technique that provides kind of almost the exact opposite of what antiquing does. Um, instead of coloring the background dark, it colors the surface darker and leaves the background alone. So like I said, I think for this case, this is kind of what I want for this knife sheath. So that's going to be probably the next video is making a knife sheath. And I'll use the same sort of color technique and probably a similar pattern to this when I make the sheath for this knife.